this is super, super easy. If you're at home or your kids are home in the summer, and uh, this is a good little project to do with kids, but if you're by yourself or you just don't want to make a big dessert, this, this is definitely the way to go. Um, you take an angel food cake mix. You can use Food Club, Duncan Hines, it doesn't matter. And you take a regular cake mix. Um, we're talking, we could do, a white, next time I'm going to do a white cake mix. Um, you could do a fudge cake mix, make this. Um, when it comes out, you could uh, put fresh whip, let it cool about five minutes. If you let these, this size of coffee cup is the best size in a large coffee cup. I'll show you that real quick. Um, you could always uh, put a dollop of fresh whipped cream. We're doing whipped cream tonight too. Or you can put icing on it or you can leave it by itself. But if you can eat it in the cup or in about five minutes, you can pop that out and you have a nice little individual cake. And I know you all have all seen the little individual cake so that you can buy. Uh, the mixes in the uh, down the aisle eight, the baking aisle, and sometimes they can be a little pricey. This is super easy, not real expensive. And this is a good little thing for kids to try, so grandkids. But uh, the chocolate, I thought about doing whipped cream and drizzling some hot fudge sauce on it, it would be really good. Okay, make sure you seal this really good. All right, and you just mix those together in a bag. Super easy. All right. Now, you take a coffee cup. You measure three tablespoons. Is it two or is it three? It's three. Did she put? It's three. Okay. You put three tablespoons of dry mix in the coffee cup. You add two tablespoons of water. Just, just tap water. You don't even have to be warm. You know, some, a lot of times it does make a difference in, in cake mixes. Your water needs to be at just a, a regular room temperature or barely lukewarm. It can actually make a difference in how your cake will rise and turn out whether, because if you get the water too hot or too cold, it will make a difference in the cake. You just stir that up just a second. And try not to get it everywhere like me. Pop it in the microwave. One minute. And then that will stay forever in that gallon bag? It, it will last a long time in this gallon bag. As long as this bag is sealed, it will last a long time. Does it work if you put six tablespoons of the dry mix in the floor, have some yeah. water, four tablespoons I've not tried it. You could. I don't see that would, you would cook it two minutes. We've, in fact, they say, somebody had said that you could not do more than one at a time. And you couldn't, like today I had all my cups arranged and was putting the water in. And they said, you can't make it ahead because it gets too foamy. But I tried it and it turned out just the same. Uh, you know, it, it could just be your microwave. But um, it, does, it does tend to get rise a little bit better if you do them, you know, one at a time. But I cook two at a time in the microwave, two for two minutes. And it is 11 seconds from coming out. I made a strawberry foam I'm going to put on it. Um, it's strawberry icing, cream cheese, vanilla flavored icing. Um, I also have fresh whipped topping. This is your cake. So you can take this cake in turn. and dry it off. Let that one cool just a minute. Any kind of cake mix. It does, it does not matter. Just as long as you use the angel food cake. It's more like a sponge cake. But you can leave it in the cup or you can take it like this. Of course, I have made 
Uh -huh. Strawberry cake mix. And uh, I use fresh, you can make fresh whipped cream or you can use store bought icing. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. This is a, just a strawberry cream cheese icing I added. Then I added uh, strawberries to it, fresh strawberries. And this is fresh whipped cream. But let me show you what it turns out to be in the cup. And this looks like it's in the mug. So this, and that's all it is. I mean, it's super easy. And those would be a nice little dinner snack, you know. Uh, people won't know that you didn't spend a lot of time. That's why I said the hot fudge would look really good. It would look really good. You could even put ice cream on top. You always use the angel food cake mix. And, and then what type of chocolate? I don't know. I, I think I would use a, the Dutch, uh, you could use a Dutch chocolate. They still make a Dutch chocolate or milk chocolate would be great. There's a fudge cake mix. Um, those would all be good. And uh, then you could put ice cream on top of it. You could have a, a hot fudge cake in just a matter of seconds, you know, if you did it that way, you know. You can put ice cream, then hot fudge, some whipped cream on top, and you're done.